our project is to develop a face mask. Special thing of our uh, product is it has a nanofiber layer. We've made the world's first N99 qualified nanofiber face mask. And because of the high breathability, uh, people can wear their N99 face mask for whole day or during meeting, uh, jogging, uh, without any discomfort. Graduating with a master's degree in biomedical engineering from Polytechnic University last year, Arthur Kwong enrolled in the Innovation and Technology Commission's internship program. He works at the Nano and Advanced Materials Institute. His projects include the development of nanofiber face masks. I've been involving in some more experimental uh, scientific jobs, say uh, developing uh, new formulations such as for the face mask. It has an antibacterial feature. So any bacteria in air in contact with our uh, face mask will be killed within a short amount of time. The internship has boosted his knowledge in the field and he hopes to continue his scientific research. In the practical way, I've learned a lot of ways to do experiments and do researches. I've been able to develop my own logical and critical thinking, which is definitely very important as a researcher. His supervisor is pleased with his performance. In the lab, Arthur works very well with other colleagues. He not only works hard on his own projects, but also helps others with their projects. Arthur has shown great improvements in different aspects, interpersonal skill, presentation skill, lab skill, and also critical thinking. Under the internship program, organizations undertaking research and development projects funded by the Innovation and Technology Fund can recruit two graduates from local universities as interns. The internship allowance is $14,000 for graduates with a bachelor's degree and $16,500 for graduates with a master's degree or higher. The maximum internship period is two years. The internship program is very important to facilitate the progress of the project because a project usually involves a uh, lot of tedious work and is time consuming. Without the help of uh, interns, it's difficult for the engineers and the project leaders to conduct all the experiments within a short period of time. After graduating with a bachelor's degree in electronic and information engineering from Polytechnic University in 2009, Anson Ng also joined the internship program. He works in the Productivity Council's Automotive Parts and Accessory Systems Research and Development Center as a trainee consultant. My working scope is to support the ITF funded project, which is a, a research project to develop an advanced driver assistance system. The driver assistance system is a device to detect the vehicle, the frontal vehicle, via image processing technology and then warn the driver accordingly to prevent any possible collisions. After his internship, he stayed in the council, participating in leading different research and development projects, including a tail lift project for trucks, which uses optical sensor technology to enhance transport safety. He has also helped develop various e-payment and management systems for an electric vehicle charging system. He said his internship gave him greater determination to continue his career in this industry. The internship allowed us to apply my learned skills into the practical applications, which is we cannot do it in our lab. And then I also developed my personal network during the internship with many bigger organizations in Hong Kong. That favored my career development in the, next, in the, in the future years. Since the internship program launched in 2004, more than 2,300 internships have been approved. Total funding approved for the program so far is more than $480 million.